Hi, I'm Marco and I'm going to give you the latest update on our IO Bean development. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? On one hand, the IO Bean is a real sensor to cloud adapter using single pay Ethernet. On the other hand, it is a sensor adapter that easily expands your IOs wherever you need them. But if you think of the version with the two inputs and two outputs that will come up, you can also name it the smallest PLC on the planet. No. Yes. Oh. So in our first version available, we are going to use on the sensor side a standard M12 5 pole connector and on the communication side a standard M8 connector. Maximum effort. As always, we are trying to maximize the flexibility in your application. So during the ordering process, you're going to be able to select between uh, many options. For example, if you have an active sensor that needs some sort of power supply, um, you will be able to select if you have a 24 volt um, power line, if you have a 5 volt or none, if you have a of course a passive sensor, uh, you will be able to define if the input is a digital analog, if you have an analog input, you can define is it a 12 or 24 bit resolution that you want to archive depending, uh, always depending on the speed uh, of your application. Tell me where your fucking boss is or you're gonna die in five minutes. And the best is don't worry about the different kind of standards and norms that comes with these um, typical M12 connectors. At the end, you can define during this ordering process, you can define on what pin do you want to have what. So do you want to have the 24 pin on pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? It depends on you. You can set it. You can set also the ground pin and the input and output pins. You can set it up all by yourself. Dobby is free. So on both sides of the IO Bean, we are using standard connectors. We are doing this to protect you against cable and, and, and connector manufacturers that are coming up with really specialized single pay Ethernet connector that at the end it's not needed. Not needed uh, for the speeds that we are talking about here in this kind of applications. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. The IO Bean is totally shielded in a full metal jacket. Aluminum housing. This makes it absolutely mechanically robust and also protected against electromagnetic discharges. On the side of the IO Bean, we have the USB connector and you can uh, connect the USB cable by simply bringing the connector near to the IO Bean and it's connected. Do you know how easy this is for me? Do you have any fucking idea how easy this is? This is a fucking joke. In this setup, we have the PT100 and the RS485 version and I have uploaded the web server already. So let's connect it to the computer. So here we are. In the web server we can see the actual measurement and we will be able to set thresholds and define actions if those thresholds are reached. Of course we can also set the network parameters and of course we can also make firmware updates also through the web server. So for testing reasons we are going to add ice water to the temperature sensor. And let's see what happens to the temperature sensor values. So this was it for the update of our IO Bean. Cheers. Mmm, yeah, it's good.